In this lesson, we will see how to find the kth node from the end of a linked list. So we have a singly linked list here. And let's say we want to find the third element from the end. So what is the first element from the end? 6. Second element is 5. Third element is 4. So in this case, we should return 4 if k is 3. But uh, let's start with a very basic case, which is the second node from the end. If we have to find the last node from the end, that will be the tail itself. So we can start from the beginning and stop when the next becomes null. The next or uh, one of the base cases for kth node would be k equal to 2. So how we can do that? If you understand how to do this, find this second node from the end, you can do it for any general value of k as well. Uh, so one way is that you keep advancing till you reach the end. When you when you reach the end, next is null. But once you are here at node six, there is a no way of going back. This is a singly linked list, and it you can only go in one direction. So now you cannot go back and say that five is the last node. So what you will do, uh, you can keep track of the current node and the previous node. So let's say this is current and you also keep track of one previous so in, in the beginning previous is null and current is the first node and you advance both by one step so current comes here previous comes one step back then current comes here 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 now next is null so you know that this is the last node and previous would be pointing here so you return the value of previous similarly let's say instead of second node uh, we want third node from the end. So what we need to do? So you understand the case where we can how we can find the second node from the end. Now let's see how we can find third node from the end. So uh, again, we we can only know uh, third node from the end when we reach the end, because we don't know how many more nodes are there in the list. So there is no way of knowing that. So just like second node, there was a uh, pointer which was one step behind the current node. So current will start from the head node. So in the earlier case, when we wanted second node, there was a previous pointer which was just one step behind. In this case, uh, the previous should be two steps behind because if this is the first node, the next one is second. But now we want third, so there should be two steps behind. So how we can do that? Advance current. So keep both previous and current at the beginning and advance current by two steps. So current comes here, then current comes here. Now there is a gap of two. And now advance both of them one at a time. So current comes here previous comes here, current here, previous here, finally current comes here and previous is here. And now we cannot move further since next is null. So we know that whatever is the previous node, this is the third node. In general, if we have k nodes, then we advance, we keep both node 1 and node 2 at the head node and advance one of these. So let's call it uh, current and previous. So advance C by K minus one steps. So let's say K is somewhere here. This is the Kth node from beginning. So you move current here and now advance both by one step. So C comes here, P comes here, then here, here. And when you reach the end, last node, current reaches the last node, you return the value of previous. So now uh, how we can write that? So maybe that k is more than the number of nodes in the list. So these are some of the base cases that we will handle in the code. In that case, we can return some dummy value, let's say minus one. Otherwise, we will return the actual value. So let's write the code for this quickly. So this is the main function here. I have created the same uh, linked list with six nodes, one, two, three, four, five, six. And 
we have to define a function kth from end where we will pass the head node and also the value of k in this case third node so we had kept two pointers so let's keep here uh, previous equal to head and current equal to head if if uh, current is there then only we can proceed if head itself is null then we have to return minus 1 if this is empty list so in this case if head is empty that means there are zero nodes in the list uh, so if this k is more than 0 then we have to return minus 1 so you can keep a local variable also but here I will be changing this k itself so while k is there so every time we will decrement k by 1 so that we know that now c has advanced by that many steps and here uh, we had done it slightly differently that we had initialized both here and then I advanced C by K minus one step and when C reaches the end we return the previous but the same another way of looking at it would be that still advance C and now C becomes null so when C becomes null you stop so then P will come here so in that case uh, that is also fine So if previous is not uh, so it, uh, not previous it should be current so here we are just advancing the current k times or k minus 1 times so if current becomes null that is we have not even advanced current by k steps and it becomes null that means there are less than k nodes in the list So we can return minus 1. Else current equal to current next. Now at the end of this loop current has already advanced by k steps and uh, we forget this k minus minus otherwise this will always return minus 1. So if this C is not there, that is head is not there, then return minus 1. Or you can also write head here. Then while current is not null, keep advancing both of these. So here we were just advancing the current but here we are advancing both current and previous so if c is there that is c is not null then p will definitely not be null because c is already uh, ahead of p so it is the c node or the current node that will become null first so only check on c is required here and finally return p data value of previous or the lagging no, uh, lagging pointer and now let's print this for 3 it should be 6 is the first node 5 is the second 4 is the third so let's run and there is some error here it prints 4 but there is some error let's run again if it no uh, it's fine now there was no error 
so let's print the first value from the end so it's six third value is four fourth fifth sixth let's print sixth value sixth value is one and now if we write seven that is seventh value from the end this should return minus one since the linked list has only six nodes so it returns minus one so this two pointer concept is very useful for uh, different problems of linked list so if you understand this well you can use the same concept in different problems related to singly linked list